one, it's Laura with Pamper Chef. I cannot find maraschino cherries. Um, don't know what's going on, but so I decided to do some research and look up how to make my own. And it's actually really easy. Okay. So the first thing you're going to do, I actually, so you, I take this right here. I just took a frozen bag and I put it in the fridge and let it thaw. Okay. Overnight. And so all this is the syrup and the water that thawed. Well, I accidentally thawed, <laughs> um, not just cherries, but it was a mixed berry bag. So I'm actually have cherries in this one and blueberries and raspberries in this one. So I'm going to show you how to the, the syrup and what to do with this. Okay. So you're going to want to get a cup of water and you actually add a cup of sugar, but, um, you might now the directions I read said to put this on the stove top. You just want it warm enough to melt the sugar. Well, I just did it in the microwave for about a minute and a half. And so you don't want it to boil. Okay. So you actually want it to, um, just melt the sugar. That's all we're wanting it to do. Okay. And then we're going to add, we're going to add some uh, vanilla and I have, I've made my own vanilla. Um, you guys really, I'm not, um, like Susie Homemaker, Betty Crocker. I'm not, I don't make a whole bunch of stuff from scratch, but some of this stuff is so easy to do. Like vanilla is vanilla beans and alcohol. This is vodka. You can do a bourbon, which is a lot more pot, like it's strong, but this is just vodka. I got at the liquor store. It was going out of business. It was five bucks for the bottle. So, um, and this has been in its own, um, in here for well, probably a year now. So anyway, it's really easy. So let me show you how to do um, the rest of it. Okay, so you, you just put your cherries in a jar um, like this. And like I said, I have two different kinds I'm doing. And then your sugar water. Okay, so if you have hummingbird feeders, you know sugar water. That's basically it. And then we're going to add in our vanilla. And you can do... Um, I don't know. I, I think this is the this is kind of fun. You can kind of do whatever you want. So then we're going to add in lemon juice. Okay, so the key, one thing is you want to roll that lemon so it gets a lot of juice out of it. Um, and then, ooh, my knife needs to be sharpened. Okay, so we're just going to take the citrus press and I am going to, we're just juicing that lemon to go right in here. Okay, like that and you just mix it up and it says to let that cool as much as you can but then we are just going to you just cover cover your your cherries that's that's it that's how you make homemade maraschino cherries and I'm gonna do it for this so think about like if you make adult drinks or even not adult drinks. How fun is it to have like a Shirley Temple is just Sprite with um what grenadine? Grenadine. What's the red? Anyway, and you put this into drinks, and so it doesn't have to be adult, and you just have fun with it. And that's how easy is that to make your own homemade maraschino cherries? It's just a syrup. Um, in fact, I'm going to finish adding the rest of this. Now, one thing, if you're going to, these will last in the fridge, um, because sugar is a natural preservative, it will last in the fridge for a, like up to six weeks. Now, the one thing I did read, it said you want to add and do this and it kind of removes any air pockets or whatever, which I'm not worried about that, but, but this is it. And you just put this on. You put your, I use these lids and there you go. Now you have homemade maraschino cherries or maraschino berries and for ice cream and all sorts of stuff. And you can even take your syrup um, and you could add it to this or do it something else. So anyway, how easy is that? So now I don't have to worry about what's at the store anymore. <laughs> you guys have a great weekend and we'll talk to you later.